TNTM The Show presents... The July Recap with your hosts... Pablo Gunner. Slay J. Marvin Goof. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Deadpool and Wolverine review. It's going to be a spoiler review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share our content if you don't mind helping us out. Yes, and our grade scale here at TNTM The Show Talk Nerd and Me is must see, must stream. Check it out. Pass. Deadpool and Wolverine? Ha <laughs> yay. Or, or should we call it Deadpool 3? <laughs> Could it be Deadpool 3 or Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah. I because it did, it did a solid job of both. Like, Indeed. of being the third movie of a trilogy and of being a Deadpool and Wolverine movie and, like, a send-off to Franchise the Fox, or, to, yeah. Yeah, to like Fox, Fox X-Men stuff. Movie, yeah. And as well as, like, a new entry into Marvel and MCU, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, like, a good reintroduction into the Marvel in- universe as they were getting rid of their Fox past. Yeah. I will say the bad for me, like, the beginning was a little confusing to me, and then the ending, I thought it was over, and then they threw some more stuff in there. But they did such a good job of sucking me back in that I was like, okay, it worked. Like, you guys were able to pull it off, stick the landing. Because I thought, well, the landing was the landing, and then you're like, no, we're going to do some more flips and woozy doozles and, you know, flipsy bobsies. And then they, but they stuck the landing. So I was like, okay, I can't complain. You know, like you guys did it. It was a little long, but like I had a good time, even though it was long. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a great movie. Those are my only complaints. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard to find the people that are against it because only the only thing that I've heard negative was at the very beginning was where the critics given it just like a low 50, 50 score or something like that, mm-hmm. and I was like, what? Are you, there's no way. And then after seeing it, I'm like, if you guys saw our video, they're dumb. They (laughs) are completely wrong. And I don't know where they're getting this from. Uh, There was a a story in this. It had a climax. And it resolved a lot of loose ends. Mm -hmm. Uh, As we mentioned, it retconned a lot of things to kind of set up the future. It was done great. Like, there was stuff that was answered from the first movie... Stuff that was answered from the second movie, and it just created this whole new parallel between these characters, which we hadn't seen before, especially in Deadpool. Like, we get a deeper sense of who he is, and where he's going, and where his heart is. And you finally see him become the hero that he always wanted to be, but he was always too selfish, and he finally overcame a lot of monsters to do so. Yeah, I would agree entirely. Like that, they interact. The interaction of a lot of things, and I mean, on a filmmaking standpoint too. I mean, visual gags are a thing, and I found that a lot of the visual editing was also hilarious. Uh, you know, everything kind of served the tone of the film. So I think that was they. They did good. Why would people say this is bad? I don't get it. <laughs> so. Well, critic, because critics have always hated these movies. Because they're like, oh, I have to watch every show and every movie. And, or they have to watch the things connected to that. And they just want to go, a movie should be a movie and it should be its own thing. Look, I didn't, I've didn't. i seen the other movies. I haven't watched them recently. I, I, you know, I love the MCU, but I haven't watched all this stuff recently. I don't have the time for that. I have kids, so even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to because it's rated R, right? I'm not going to do that. I felt great just rolling into this, you know... And just having a good time and enjoying it. And it was a blast. Like, to me, I go, that's this is what a movie is. That's what a movie should be of this caliber, right? Like, it's a Deadpool movie. Like, it delivered on what a Deadpool movie is. And then the fact that it was the third of a trilogy, it was perfect to wrap up, you know. I mean, yeah, it opens up for more into the new universe. But it, it was so superb. It's, I feel like it's on par with those other trilogies such as like Captain America and Guardians as well. Like, it's that good. Because why? They put the core of it. It's about the characters. 
It's about his family, right? Like his chosen family, his friends. That's what he cares about. That was the focus, right? And that's why. And they've done the same thing with Guardians, right? Like it was about, hey, let's rockets our family. You know, all these care. You know, these things. They're character focused, and that's why it works because you care. I mean, you may not care about those characters, but you care because he cares. Exactly. I mean, I don't know if y'all watched the Hot Ones episode that him and Hugh Jackman did, um, but even Ryan Reynolds made a point saying that sometimes things get lost where it should be character focused, right? Mm -hmm. I think all three of the Deadpool films have really established how well making a character or the interaction between characters, the focus of everything, is makes it something successful. So I completely agree. Uh, that's I think that's what makes them so good, and they're all dirty and really hilarious. <laughs> you know that that's the, it's it pulls it off in such a good way. So yeah, let's talk <laughs> about the cameos, man. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Fantastic! <laughs> Mind blowing! Holy cow! I was not expecting Blade. No gosh! Not at all. Blade. Not at all. I did not expect that one bit. <laughs> I'm so and excited. Then Gambit was fantastic. Holy cow! Phenomenal. Channing Tatum. <laughs> does a great Cajun accent, and he plays that part very well. It was perfect. I thought he was so perfect. I don't want to see anybody else in that role <laughs> because I genuinely don't believe anybody could do better. That's how good he was. Uh, and the fact that we did get to see them, you know, get to see all of these figures fight, like the dream of seeing Gambit's powers that way, yes. Oh, gosh. Because Electra? Like, yeah. That Electra. was definitely like... I don't know. I mean, I didn't see any of the spoilers up into it, but Electra was yeah. absolutely like right. didn't expect that. At least that version of Electra coming back, man. And that that has to speak with the retcon, and they did a great job of kind of like giving those characters an end, so they can kind. Of, who knows? We might. You know, we're definitely going to see Blade in the future, but we're probably going to see more of them. And they better bring back Chain and Tatum as Gambit. They better. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. It, especially for me, as someone who said Channing Tatum is the worst choice, he's way too big, he, he's, he's way too bulky, he doesn't have the acting caliber, he proved me wrong. He proved <laughs> me wrong in every single way in this. Like, he just looked perfect, he sounded perfect, everything about him was perfect in this, where I was like, give this man, give this man a, another job to, to where he's being, playing Gambit. Like, you have to. Yep. You absolutely have to. Find an excuse, find him a good rogue. Mm -hmm. Find him a good rogue. And I, like... I could just imagine X Men film in the new approach to all this. I want Alexandra Daddario. Oh, you know, as, yeah. As Rogue. Yeah. And then boom, done. That'd be Agreed. great. Yeah, that'd be great. Those two could even have their own movie together. You know, <laughs> and I, I'm all for it. But yeah, yeah, the cameos were insane. The jokes were insane. Like even the Electra's jab on Daredevil, <laughs> on Daredevil. which <laughs> seemed felt like more of a jab to. Batflick or to Ben Affleck? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like it, it, it's it felt more like that, but it was, but it worked in it, right? Like it was so perfect, and that's what you know, like. All the jokes, so great. Johnny Storm was phenomenal, even that. Oh my god, that was the one that fooled me the most. Cause I, I'm sitting there, so excited. It's Chris Evans. Oh my God, Captain America's here. <laughs> Captain America's here. <laughs> and it completely blew my mind. And of course they made a joke to that. That was great. And oh yeah, a running yes. joke. Uh, X-23 showed up. That, mm. That's awesome. The, the, yes. uh, they, Cassandra Nova was great. Oh, I thought perfect. she was a great villain. Uh, that's not a cameo, but she's, she's great. And whoever that actress was, was did a great job. I made it feel like she was really... Xavier's sister. Yeah, I, I kind of hope they bring her back, like in an, as another variant or or in another way. Like that version could be dead for sure, but right. you know, yeah. Right. And then we see the TVA in this. There's just a lot of stuff that kind of interconnected. It was like them tying the the ends together to bring Deadpool and Wolverine over. So you know, and they even make a joke that Hugh Jackman's Hugh Jackman's gonna have to carry Marvel until he's ninety, <laughs> which is <it's> probably true. <laughs> Oh gosh! After after this time, I admit, like that, that's got to be another thing that crosses his mind. Do do I do this again? With how popular this movie is, do I do this again? I think he's down. <laughs> it seems like, like he's down. Yeah, and not like an old man Logan, like one of the variants that shows up. Mm. Like I would love to see an old man Logan movie that is different from the Logan legit, film. like yeah. the comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then all the different Wolverines was great. It was just 
such a beautiful movie. It's a definite must see. Oh yeah. Oh, oh Henry Cavill. Uh, oh yeah. Oh uh, the Ca- Cavalry. Wolverine. Yes. <laughs> 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 a comic accurate Wolverine. Oh, oh gosh, no. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Uh, oh, they had a lot of nods. There was the patch one. The what's the one where he's on the X? The oh yeah. I forgot. What I know what you're talking too. about. Days of Apocalypse Wolverine. Age of Apocalypse. Age yes. of Apocalypse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yeah. Many so things. many. So, and oh, it makes fun of it. Hulk. <laughs> yes. Oh gosh, the Hulk appearance. You make it makes fun of itself a lot right. too. Like yes. how they're like, oh yeah, you have to watch episode season one of episode five of Loki, <laughs> of Loki. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like kind of helps you out, I guess. You know. <laughs> But, yeah, it was really funny. Like, I didn't feel like I had to watch all that. I mean, I've seen those, but I, it definitely didn't have to be fresh. Mm-hmm. I felt like you could just walk in. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you and can't walk in. In perfect Deadpool fashion of, like, the fourth wall breaking constantly, which was great. Mm-hmm. We needed that. Ryan Reynolds is perfect for this role. He always has been. Yep. Great job. All the Canadian jokes were great, too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done very well. It's a, yeah, definite buy from us. Oh, for sure. Yeah, heavily. Right? Absolutely agreed. All right, cool. No argument, I guess. No argument. Probably going to see a lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Yeah, Ninja mm-hmm. Turtles merch from us. Yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's it for us.